What's going on Kryptonites and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the current situation of Kadena mining in 2024. Kadena was one of the most profitable coins to mine during the last bull run. Many people bought a Kadena miner at just the right time and they made a ton of money because the KDA cryptocurrency went on an absolute tear in price. Recently, Kadena has rebounded some, but nowhere near its previous all-time highs though. Furthermore, there are new KDA miners joining the Kadena mining game, both large-scale and small-scale miners. My name's Kryptonite, and you're on the Kryptonite Mining Channel. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, and let's dive right into the video. So on Christmas, we had a nice jump in the KDA price, going over that $1 mark. But along with that, of course, comes a jump in the network difficulty, all the way from 700 petahash to one exahash by the beginning of February. This right here is the IV Link VMK3 Max, coming in at around $2,500 at 82 terahash with a power consumption of 3,200 watts. This is the new bigger scale miner. The new smaller miner is the Ivy Link BMK3 Mini Kadena Miner. This one is going for $400 right now with a total of 5 terahash with a power consumption of 290 watts. Making this the best small Kadena miner to ever hit the market. Let's compare this to a KDA miner that you may be familiar with. This Gold Shell KD Box 2. Oh, what a surprise, it's on sale. So 188 bucks right there is a mini Kadena miner mining at five terahash with a power consumption of 400 watts. So five terahash at 400 watts or five terahash at 290 watts. This is the better miner. But at that price difference, I don't know if it's worth the extra 200 bucks. If you're wondering about the mining profitability of these little miners, they actually lose money right now at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, if that's your power cost, or if you're paying more than that. What's even more interesting is that Ivy Link would even bring to the market a miner that is literally to the T half as good as the KA3 Ant Miner from Bitmain. Again, these are the official specs right here. 82 terahash at 3200 watts. This is half as efficient as the KA3. So looking right here, the IV Link BMK3 is currently losing money at a 10 cent per kilowatt hour power rate. So I have a Bitmain KA3 miner, and let me show you something. You're probably not going to want to see this if you just bought one, right? You can see here that my revenue is pretty consistent, mining about 12 coins, 12 and a half coins a day. I've had this miner for quite a while now, and we look right here at the daily revenue, and we are going down, especially since more miners have hit the network after that price jump back on Christmas. And once again, you can look at the network difficulty and see that. Back early December, I was bringing in 18 coins a day. When we look at the network hash rate, look at this crazy jump from just a couple of months ago to now. It's become 50% harder to mine a coin. Bottom line and point of this video is the Ivy Link BM K3 is such a waste compared to the K3 miner. But if you want to go ahead and buy the miner and watch the network difficulty continue to go up as more people buy those miners, mining 82 terahash at 3200 watts versus the K3 mining at 166 terahash at 3154 watts. Anyways, guys. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments about Kadena or Kadena mining, please leave those in the comment section below. Until next time, Kryptonite Miner out.